I'm sick of him bossing me around. That's his job. He's your boss. I don't care. I'm sick of it. It's about time I start following my dreams anyway. Dude, how many times do we have to tell you? Becoming a professional prankster is not a realistic dream. Neither is moving to Hollywood. What are you talking about? It's a very realistic one. Then why don't you do it? I don't know. I know, because you're a pussy bitch. I'm not a pussy bitch, I just can't right now. Sounds like something a pussy bitch would say. Fuck you, at least I have a dream. I have one. Oh yeah, what is it? Become a superhero. Give me your wallets or I'll blow you into next week. Oh damn, you forcibly trying to give us blowjobs? No, dude, he's robbing us. I'll do it. I'll blow you to shit. Oh man, there, he said it again. He's trying to give us blowjobs. He's not trying to give us blowjobs, he's gonna fucking shoot us. Give me your fucking wallets. No. Alright, alright, no problems. Just do what he says, no problems. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You just flew out the sky. Who are you? What are you? I am the protector of this fine city. I am the Buttress of Splendor. Keep it down. I'm trying to look at the superhero blowjob guy. I can't believe it. We saw a real-life superhero. I mean, he was flying and everything. Yeah, and he was super gay. Yeah, bro, he gay as hell. Well, yeah, but that doesn't matter. Oh, no, not at all. I'm just voicing an observation. Do you think we'll ever see him again? I mean, this is my one opportunity to follow my dreams. Do you think he needs an intern? It's called a side... Oh, damn, I got bottle rockets in here? What is that? It's my bag of pranks. I got stink bombs, itching powder, snakes in a can. I'm about to start pranking all y'all. Looks like we're both on the right track, Chan. Now if Andy would just get his shit together, we could be a cohesive unit of dream followers. I told you, it's not the right time. Whatever. I'm gonna shoot this bottle rocket off the balcony. Aw, oh, come on, don't do that. Oh, oh, here goes nothing. Oh shit, oh, it went into another apartment. Oh damn, it's on fire. Call 911. This is not a good start to my pranking career. Okay, good. We've got everyone out. Help! Help! Chief, we got a live one. Shit. There's no going back up there. The building is too unstable. What? You can't just let them die up there. We go up there, we risk losing more men. It can't be done. There has to be someone who could save them. In the Navy. Yes, you can tell the 17. Oh, gee, the fire. Look, it's the Buttress of Splendor. The Buttress of what? Hey, Buttress of Splendor. Down here, it's me, Casey. What seems to be the problem? There's a man stuck in the building. You gotta fly up there and save him. In that building? Yep. I'm not going up there. What? Why not? It's all on fire and stuff. You're the only one who can save him, Buttress of Splendor. <laughs> I'm not invincible. Can't the fire department go up there? No can do. It's too dangerous. You guys owe me. Holy jeez, it's so flippin' hot in here. Oh, thank God. Here, come to me. I'll save you. Look, I know this isn't the best time, but think of this fire as a blessing because those curtains and that rug they just do not match. Get me out of here. Jeez, okay, Mr. Impatient. Thank you. You saved my life. Yeah, but Way to of go, Splendor. Butchers of Splendor. Way to go. Somebody get this man to a hospital and get me to the nearest mojito. <laughs> Thanks for the drink, boys. Hey, it's the least we could do, Butchers of Splendor. Yeah, thanks for saving us the other night. It's all in a day's work, I guess. Hey, so, Buttress of Splendor, uh, we were talking the other day about how it's time we start following our dreams, and, well, mine is actually to be a superhero, and being that you're the only one I know, could I, uh, I don't know, be your sidekick intern or some shit? Oh, well. Oh, God, I overstepped my boundaries, didn't I? Forgive me, Buttress of Splendor. No, no, it's, it's not that, it's just... I don't want to be a superhero anymore. What? I... I want to be a super artist. A super artist? 
Yeah, like, build big sculptures and things and wear cute silly hats. I don't know, it's stupid. Now a dream is stupid, Buttress of Splendor. Yeah, as long as you work hard at it. But what if I fail? That's the risk you gotta take, bro. But it's so scary. Look, Buttress of Splendor, if you're not willing to risk it all, then it's not a dream. It's a fantasy. Fantasies don't come true. Hmm. Whoa, that was pretty cool, Chen. Thanks. Now let me throw this itching powder down your shirt. No, get away from me. You boys have really given me a lot to ponder. I, I need a quick dance to think it over. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna follow my dream. That's really great, Buttress of Splendor. Good for you, Buttress of Splendor. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Hey Andy, want some peanuts? No? Come on, they're really good. Chen, you know I realize those are just pop-out snakes, right? What? Uh, how'd you know there were snakes in here? Casey, you told them, didn't you? Whoa, what's that over there? Looks like a ginormous statue. Oh, it's the Buttress of Splendor. Hey, fellas! Wow, did you build this? I did. It's really amazing. Thanks, but I owe it all to you guys. Oh, it's nothing. No, it is something. I wasn't living the life I wanted because I was afraid of failure and judgment. But after our talk, it dawned on me that I shouldn't be afraid. Because even if I did fail, it still meant I did something most people never do in their lives. I tried. You know, guys, I think it's time I follow my dreams too. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move to Hollywood. Nice. Way to go, bro. Yeah. Oh, and here, Casey. Since I won't be needing this anymore, you can have it. It's my costume. Wow. Thanks, Buttress of Splendor. Hey, Buttress of Splendor. You want some peanuts? Oh, I thank you, Chen. I would love some peanuts. Goo, snakes. <laughs> oh, damn. He fell for it. He fell for the trick. Following your dreams is the best idea ever. We shouldn't follow our dreams. Following your dreams is a bad idea. In the underground There's certainly no sense of peace in me now I didn't last too long for fear I'd be found